Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, behind me, I will be creating a secret custom uh, ambient light rejection screen under probably $100. And let me start by telling how I'm going to do that. I will be taking the camera here. You probably know the room setup. I got my three meters of length professional motorized screen, which I will be probably replacing with this. Ah, I'm just joking, but this will be a gift for my brother. And this will be in the plan, if I can manage it in the end, hopefully, uh, will be 110 inch ambient light rejection screen. For that, I purchased a roll up uh, curtain system which is basically the just uh, the roll-up curtain mechanism system that with aluminum probably base and then the weight in the end and for this I shot this screen video this is a $25 cheapest ambient light rejection screen that you can purchase from AliExpress as you can see there is uh, different sides this is I remember this was the reflective side for the screen and this is the back of it so it is not transparent this will be this will not be a transparent uh, roll up curtain so this will also block the sun, but I don't recommend it because this is polymer based. This will be only used for the projection purpose. And in the end, we will stick these sticky and somewhat of a plastic things uh, at the edge of the curtain, like we purchased. And then we will use the rail system. We put these parts of the uh, curtain here to lock it down. And then also the weight, similar. This rail system will help us to connect them. And in the end, I will use the plastic rail setup. So I do already have curtains, regular curtains with rails. I will install this curtain behind the rail system and hidden this complete projection screen and ambient light rejection screen. I will just hidden it under there. Let me just show you. In my earlier video, I have also shown you for $25 best screen. This is the rail system that I got. I can move my curtains, as you can see. So this will be hidden underneath. Let me just walk back. And this will be the setup. This is uh, 245 centimeters. And I think it's quite good enough. It will be probably 110 inch. Uh, I need to iron this screen uh, as light as possible with less, less, which is the best setting for the probably this type of polymer. I will try to iron and test it. I don't want to ruin my uh, steam, iron steam, or uh, also the screen. I will start from the edge and take a look. If I'm successful, I will iron all of it and cut some of it to fit here because this is 120 inch. This is 110 inch style. I will measure it, iron it, cut it, and then install this part. And then I will be probably have a ready roll up custom ambient light rejection screen under $100, which is basically perfect if you ask me, because if you haven't seen the video, just click around or at the description below, find my other video that I compared this ambient light rejection screen compared to my professional white screen with probably 1.2 gains and ambient light, uh, light rejection is uh, giving very good results. Uh, with single light opens like I have another light at the door like this so I can Cancel one of it like use the left one and I close this one. I still watch it like a TV So it is quite good and you'll be happy with the results. Let's just don't waste any more time and start Well, we have managed to cut two pieces from each side uh, I think uh, I remember around 10 Point five to eleven point seven uh, centimeters. So I will be testing my ironing skills, and this cloth can be ironed or cannot. I will test it from this small piece rather than the big piece that I need in the end. And hopefully, if I success with these, I will iron it and then stick these things at the edge, and then we'll be installing to the roll uh, up curtain system let's continue i am at the 60 percent of ironing and i am using a synthetic setup but the heat level is 
not too extreme, but you need to hold and be careful. You hold it like a couple of seconds, like one, two, three, four kind of way. Otherwise, it won't open. So if you want to get rid of the wrinkles, it'll take time and pressure. Just like the Shawshank Redemption. You need time and the pressure to make things happen. Because otherwise you'll burn the thing. This is synthetic. You need time. And like I said, you need to check the heat with your hand. Just look at these spots. How do they disappear? Sort of, not perfectly. Now I'm coming back. I'm gonna heat the spot. Hold it, one, two, three, and then get back. As you can see, this is the best that I can get. It's not going to be perfect, but in the end, the result probably will be enough for me. That's it for now. Right now, I'm at the last stage of the installation. I will take this stick apart and stick it like this. This is the front element. So the first part is kind of over and when I get back and we're going to install it to the system and the bottom part is just only for the weight so it'll be probably easier. For this setup let's try to install to roll it in. This goes inside of this place and we'll be putting it in. If everything works correctly, we'll be pushing it with plastic. The thing that installation guide. This is also plastic to hold it in the rail systems. Same plastic I'll be using. And sticking it in. Once we are in, it's not easy to come out. And we will of course test this later on. all the way we are coming nearly at the end but as you can see there are wrinkles around here other side is kind of flat the reason is we have uh, three or four millimeters of calculation problem and the plastic is not forgiving because it's tough take to get in but I think overall we, we will not have too many issues when we roll it up and down we will see if we create extra wrinkles but uh, hopefully this will be enough for general use. We finally managed to create a screen and you know by now this is the three meter screen. This is the new 245 centimeters of screen that I have and it is kind of secret when I roll it up, it will be hidden behind this second ceiling of ours. So it's not going to be sticking out like this original screen and meanwhile i want to show you something this is ambient light rejection so if i move it you see the reflections of the light so it is quite reflective but when you move around as you can see reflection is gone and it's quite dark gray because you have a narrow angle so if i put some sort of torch from here side angle I won't be affected uh, as a visual but if I'm looking at straight like this if I close this light then side lights will not affect my view so I can use LED lights so I am sitting right now my second couch for th three people and this is my first couch that I use my Optoma as you can see so the downside of this setup is about we have lost something like uh, 10 to 15 centimeters up above because these screens are just designed to stick it to the wall with uh, stickers that comes with which I don't recommend because it looks silly and if you add some sort of frame which many people do wooden frames so it won't be foldable, uh, it will be always there if you want to use it as a TV that could be acceptable. And there are videos about those kind of setups, I will put some of them, uh, some of their videos links. But in this setup, 
uh, we have created a secret screen. So it's going to roll up and disappear in the second ceiling and with the other curtains and the backdrops. So sorry about the leather, but this is about two at night. So it's quite late. In the end of the video, I just thought, why not give you a visual impressions from the screen? On the right bottom side, you don't see that much, but some light. It comes from a small projector. I will reveal later on. It is 200 and 250 lumens of power in the declaration side, of course. I will measure it later on, hopefully. This is the screen. Right now, our screen does not match, uh, as you can see, the curtains below and some part of the leather that we used to install. And the reflection difference from the white curtains and the screen is quite identifying the screen quality as you can see we have a lot of more detail and I will just uh, change the brightness level because of the video is changing yes right now I am adapting the video is getting lighter I believe the contrast level is quite good reflection is good I showed you in my earlier videos you can also see my ceiling up top around here so pretty white ceiling does not reflect that much so this is way 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 better than the wall way better than the regular screens but it has limitations like a narrow field of view but even with a small projector like this the image is good but don't get me wrong this is tuned by the projector and the room light setup so it's not going to be a professional projector level quality this is not that much of a difference making kind of screen but don't worry about it you'll be happy with the results and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i will open up lights and as you can see my lights are just like this on the side so it cancels because it directly hits the screen it cancels the visual but when it comes from the side like my ambient lights Philips Hue lights and I close it you'll see the screen hope to see uh, hope to see you in the next video bye